Hi, it's Ken Whitehouse here from Hart, Honda Australia Roadcraft Training. I'd like to spend some time today to talk about slow speed riding and manoeuvring. If we think about it, every time we're riding our scooters, we're going to be spending at least some amount of time riding slowly and manoeuvring, whether it be just exiting our driveway, maybe in a car park or a surface station or in slow moving traffic. And the techniques we use when we are riding slowly can make a big difference to our safety. Unfortunately, I hear a lot of scooters having troubles, uh, having small accidents in low speed riding. And although they're often not life threatening, they can often be expensive and embarrassing, often resulting in broken levers, mirrors, and sometimes scratch paint. So we're gonna have a look at the techniques that are gonna allow us to ride safely in low speed traffic. So let's look at the components that make up the correct technique for low speed riding and maneuvering. We've got our power delivery, our speed control, our balance, and our posture. So let's talk about the first of our components, and that's our power delivery. I need to keep some drive and momentum, because if I lose momentum, I'm gonna lose my balance and be putting my feet down. So I need to keep a small amount of constant throttle. That's my power delivery. My speed control is not done by rolling on and off the throttle, but by using a small amount of rear brake. If I need to go a little bit faster, I don't roll the throttle on, I just use a little bit of rear brake. If I want to go slower, I'm going to apply a small amount of rear brake more. Now notice that I'm saying the rear brake. I'm not going to be using the front brake because this is often about maneuvering and steering and the front brake and steering do not go together well. Our next component is balance and this is really important. When I'm standing on the ground, I'm getting a lot of clues about balance from my feet working all the way up to my head. But when I'm sitting on my scooter and riding, I've got nothing in contact with the ground anymore. So all I have to rely on is a little bit of fluid in my inner ear and I need to make sure I keep it level. So I want to ensure that I keep my head up, I keep my eyes level with the horizon and I look where I want to go. Now, when I'm steering, the bike's leaning, my body's leaning, but I don't lean my head. What I do is I point my eyes and my chin in the direction that I want to go. That's keeping my eyes and my head level. Now the last of our components is our posture. And we're gonna start from our feet and work our way up. You'll notice that my feet are flat on the running board and my toes are all the way into the join between the running board and the fascia. This allows me to push my feet forward to brace when I'm maneuvering and steering. Moving up, my knees, they're facing forwards. They're not quite together, but they're facing forwards. My hips, my thighs, and my knees, they need to be the most stable part of me. This is where I brace myself. Everything from my hips up needs to be very relaxed and flexible so I can move around, but I lock myself in with my knees, my hips, and my thighs. With my hands, I've got a very light resting grip on the bars. Our hands are not for holding onto the scooter, they're for steering inputs and using the controls. I should be very relaxed. My back, just a little bit of a slouch again, nice and relaxed, and my head, as we spoke before, got to keep my head up, eyes level with the horizon look where I want to go. If I need to scan down to my mirrors and my instruments, I can do that by using my eyes without having to point my head down. Let's think about what's going on with our posture when we're maneuvering. Sometimes we're going to need to do some fairly tight little turns like a U-turn. Now, if we're doing a tight U-turn, we need to make the scooter turn tightly. To make the scooter turn tightly, we need to lean it. The more we lean it, the tighter it'll turn. Now, if we're going slowly and we're leaning the scooter a lot, Gravity just wants to pull us down. So we need to think about counteracting gravity by leaning the scooter in and leaning our body out the other way. Now that's what we call scooter in, body out. And also think about the scooter, it wants to go where you're looking. Now if you're looking the direction you want to go, you're gonna help the posture take the scooter to that place. So always look where we want to go, never where we don't want to go. So I'm gonna ride three simple demonstrations for you. I'm gonna do a slow straight ride, such as riding in slow moving traffic. I'm gonna ride an offset cone weave, which is a little bit like maneuvering around a car park or a service station. And I'm gonna do some tight circle turns, a bit like a tight U-turn. So this is just a slow straight ride and a little bit of power, ease the brake, keeping my eyes up for balance, feet forward, and coming to a stop. So this is an offset cone weave. Really important to keep the power on. Little bit of rear brake, very stable lower body, 
very relaxed upper body, keep my head up for balance. And finally, some tight circles. Notice I'm leading the scooter in to turn tightly. I'm leading my body out to counteract gravity and I'm looking over my shoulder to where I want the scooter to go. That's low speed riding and manoeuvring. So that's basic slow speed riding manoeuvring. If you'd like any more tips on slow speed riding and manoeuvring, come along and see us at heart. Safe riding.